Judy, a pardon parade would be perfectly legal for President Trump, who, like all American presidents, essentially has the right to pardon anyone for any reason. But mercy does have some limitations. It can't be done in exchange for a favor or a fee. And it is uncertain whether a president can pardon himself for something he or she might be charged with doing in the future. Yes, I do have an absolute right to pardon myself, but I'll never have to do it because I didn't do anything wrong. And everybody knows it. In 2018, the president was already talking pardons. But tonight, exactly seven weeks from his first full day as an ex-president, the pardon question couldn't be muddier. There is no authority for issuing a pardon for something that hasn't yet happened and may happen down the road. That's, there's no authority for that. There is authority for what we call a preemptive pardon, and that is to pardon someone who has already committed some act but hasn't yet been charged with it. Former Chicago federal prosecutor Gil Sofer, our legal analyst, tonight says it isn't clear whether a president can pardon himself because it's never been tested. I think a pardon should be appropriate in my situation. But the path would be clear for President Trump to pardon Chicago and George Papadopoulos, convicted of lying in the Russia meddling investigation, and Chicago banker Stephen Koch, awaiting trial in a bribery case from his time as an economic advisor to the 2016 Trump campaign. And Ukrainian gas tycoon Dmitry Firtash, fighting extradition to Chicago where he faces a bribery indictment. Also eligible, whistleblower Edward Snowden, an ex-CIA operative who in this tweet today is encouraging the president to free Julian Assange, the WikiLeaks founder charged with publishing state secrets. And any pardons for himself or his children may have political consequences. The president's free to issue any of these pardons, but if he has some wish to come back in four years and run for president, for some of his children or his family to come and to run for president. He does have to be sensitive to any political blowback that might come from a party. Even though ABC News has learned that the White House has had discussions and those have taken place concerning preemptive pardons, the president could decide to issue no pardons or very few. Nothing has been announced or even acknowledged, and it could be done on Wednesday, January 20th, 2021, the day that Donald Trump leaves the White House and Joe Biden takes the oath of office. Hey, if you like that video, be sure to subscribe to our ABC7 Chicago YouTube channel.